Hi everyone, it's Michelle here. Just wanted to pop in and do a quick video and share what I have been making the last couple of days. I had um, was lucky enough to be asked by Faith at Faith Pocock Craft Studio if I would like to create something for her for display at um, some stands at some craft and art shows that she's going to be at. So if you're a New Zealand crafter, you might like to check out whereabouts she's going to be because she has lots of good stuff for sale. And this is um, made with a lot of the things that she sent me. So they started off with these base um, clocks. They came in three pieces, so I've got two. There we go. So this is your middle piece, the um, your numbers, and then, as you can see down here, the base piece. So I did two different takes on it, which I enjoyed, because I couldn't, I couldn't decide which one to go with. You know what it's like. So I'll quickly do a quick show and tell as to how I made them. And if you see anything you fancy, if you're in New Zealand, um, I will put the link down below to Faith's... Uh, online store and you can buy a lot of these goodies there so she sent me some graphic 45 paper which I used in the background and covered the base and then I used all the metal pieces I've actually colored them and they've been colored with boom boom uh, distress paint antique bronze and also um, some lovely Lindy stamp gang spray which oh, which I will put uh, down below the um, the name of because it came up really nicely. I'll just bring it right up here. Can you see the green shimmer? That's the Lindy Stamp Gang spray. Doesn't it come out beautiful? So it's just got this lovely iridescent on all those metal pieces. So as you can see, I just laid all the metal up. This little bird was uh, one of those little plasticky birds, so I painted him up with the Tim Holtz paint and then some of the sprays, and then I finished him off with a little bit of uh, treasure brass, which I already had. And, and this little, the little cherub here, again, was a little plastic piece, so I've painted him up and made him look a little bit more interesting so I'm so thrilled with it all oh, these delicious little are uh, the Finnabar little micro beads which I haven't used before but aren't they darling I suggest you use them with a tray because they fly and run everywhere but what I did was just touch glue uh, onto the the base and then I just sprinkled all the beads on and then just kind of rolled them around and they just ran all over the place and grabbed and I love that look I'm just so thrilled with it so I definitely want to play with some more of those micro beads and I've tucked the micro beads into the middle of some of the metal pieces I put a little pearl in here uh, just to give it a little bit of extra texture into those pieces so yummy isn't it cool I love it so that's my my sort of metal one, which I'm really going to be getting some more of these little um, little cherubs. And again, this little frame in the background, that also was plastic. So I'm so thrilled with those. I'm going to be, watch out, I'm going to be doing some more of that stuff. Um, and then I really wanted to do a sort of more of a shabby chic one and have a complete contrast. So this was my second um, second clock couldn't help myself uh, and so all the um, the background was painted with gesso and then it was inked up and stamped with um, all with Tim Holtz Distress and archival inks they are fantastic I have to tell you if I can quickly find it sorry wandered off there this is the best thing since sliced bread seriously in love with this thing um, just thrilled. The ground espresso is a beautiful dark brown, and then the vintage photo is a lovely brown. The black's a brilliant black, and then we've got the hickory smoke grey. So stunning. So I stamped all these. Some of the background is stamped with those inks, and then all the flowers are made with white cardstock, and then they've all been done with distress inks. So different stamps for texture, and then different inks to get the different effects of the layered stamps all the way through. So I'm really, really thrilled with that. Um, absolute fantastic thing. Then I've put, you can see I've got the metal through here, and all the little flowers were made with the Tim Holtz tattered floral dye, uh, and some paint. So that is my floral one. I think I don't actually think there's much else to tell you about that one. Yeah, so it was just the inks, the flowers, 
highly I really love the Tim Holtz tattered floral dye. That's a really good one. So just lay it up all the flowers. I have got a um, tutorial that I made at one stage a few a wee while back um, on um, how I make my flowers. So if you just have a little look on my channel, if you're thinking, oh, I like the look of those flowers, I will. Yeah, so that's that. That is that. I think that's it. If you've got any questions, just leave them down below and I will try and answer them if it's possible. Um, as I said, I'll put the link in the description as well. Um, if you do have questions, just do check out that description box below because that tends to be where I put the links and the Q&As. Uh, so sometimes things are already answered there if you are uh, um, interested. So I hope you like my lovely mixed media clocks. It was something a bit different and I really enjoyed it. So I'm going to be doing lots more of this kind of thing with the metal. And um, I hopefully I'll see you soon. Take care and bye for now.